Hip hop is 50 and there's a new documentary that follows Run DMC's rise to legends. Earlier we spoke with one of the kings from Queens, Daryl McDaniels, AKA DMC. Take a look. At this point, me and D, we were dreaming about making our own stuff. Grab your rhyme book, we're going to the studio to make a record. That was the moment I knew hip hop was going to be huge. They brought more people to the genre. Tricky, tricky, tricky. All this from two turntables and a microphone. Please welcome back to DBL DMC. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. How y'all doing? What's happening? Yes. Oh, we are we are better now. Yes. Uh, it, it will never stop being an honor to talk to you. So I got to ask you, you know, hip hop is 50 years old. So did you honestly, and we can all hear Biggie's voice in our head, think that hip hop will make it this far? No, not really, because you got to understand something. The main intention at the time, once hip hop started making records and being able to record in the music business, the only motivation and intention was to get your record played on the hip hop station Friday or Saturday night. Yeah. If you do that, then you're legendary. Um, but I remember once we started making these records and some good stuff started happening, I remember being in London and um, we was doing an interview and the journalist asked Jam Master Jay, they asked Jay, did you ever think hip hop would be this big? And this is 84 and 85. And then Jay says, yes because it was so big when I first heard it. Mm. And then I realized, when I heard Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, Cold Crush Four, Treacherous Three, Funky Four Plus One, I felt that. And then Jay felt that and Run felt that. Now we're doing what we were inspired by them. Now, if you look at the documentary, everybody from Ice Cube to Chuck D, a public enemy, and everybody in between, they felt what we were doing. And then that went on to the next generation and generation. But to answer the question, we didn't see it being a legitimate, respected form in genre in the music business. We just wanted to get one record played Friday and Saturday night. I think you did that. I, yeah, you definitely did that. <laughs> so how do you feel when you sit down and you reflect and look back at what Run DMC has accomplished? Well, I, I, I've never realized, Run used to always say this, Everybody else got to experience what Run DMC was doing. We didn't because we were the ones doing it. Mm. So when this documentary airs, when this Run DMC documentary comes out, I'm able to sit back and not look at myself and my accomplishment, but I'm able to partake in the experience of what Run DMC was able to represent and leave open for everybody else to experience. Run DMC helped break generational barriers, color barriers, especially when you release walk this way with Aerosmith. How did that collaboration even happen? Well, originally, here's the truth. Originally, don't tell nobody, we was going to steal their music. <laughs> we, was gonna, we was going to sample it and rhyme. The original version of the record was me and Run rhyming about how great we are over their music. Rick Rubin, one of the greatest producers in music, he suggested hey, instead of doing the record over and just rhyming about y'all, do the record over exactly the way the band first originally recorded it. Man Run was totally against it. Because if y'all remember, our first rock records was Rockbox and King of Rock. That was, Rockbox was the first rap hip hop video on MTV, 84. Then in 85, we did King of Rock. Once they convinced us to do that, Rick took it a step higher. Here's the beauty thing. Now, we could have did that record with just me and Run, the exact remake of Walk This Way. But Rick, he had an insight and a vision that would transform not only hip hop and Run DMC, it would bring Aerosmith back and change music. He said, you're going to do that record over, but you're going to do it with them. Wow. So when people fought two generations together, it broke down that forced representation of the man-man thing we call a generation gap. Yep. The fact that we did it with them, you know what I'm saying? We could have just <laughs> did it with them. Yeah. We did it with them. So 
conceptually, yep. image-wise, and visually, it had a deeper impact with people. Some things are just serendipitous, it, aren't it they? It changed the course yeah. of the music's history. A thousand Absolutely. percent. Wow. DMC, thank you so much for joining us. I wish oh, we could man. talk to you forever. For sure. But here's the thing. DBL Nation, you can catch the premiere of Kings from Queens, the Run DMC story, February 1st on Peacock. And as we go to break, let's rock out to a Run DMC classic. Always thank you so much. Soon, Great right? to yes. see you. Yeah. Yes. So